can tea replace coffee in the espresso martini? Hi friends of cocktails, espresso martini is one of the most popular cocktails, but let's face it, it's not always the most appropriate time to drink it, with all the caffeine and all. Well, not here, it's always 5 o'clock here, but you know what I mean. So unless you're a model from the 80s, who needed a little extra boost during a night out, it's great to know there's an alternative. I'll make a rooibos version of the espresso martini, using a homemade rooibos liqueur, rooibos tea and served from a nitro siphon for that creamy texture. And when we get to the bottom of the glass, I'll show you something that will look good on you, but will also help others, so put a pin in that. Now, it's cocktail time. I've made a few variations of the espresso martini already, going all the way back to the second episode on the channel. That time I made it with the Reposado Tequila, which I still think is the best version of this classic cocktail. Also, we've come a long way since then. A year ago I also made two rum variations, one of them being a cold brew nitro tini, built and served similarly to what we'll do today. But to see how the Robus Martini evolved from the Espresso Martini, we can start with the classic ingredients. We are keeping the vodka this time, but the espresso will be swapped with the rooibos tea, which also substitutes the dilution that's added from shaking with ice. The coffee liqueur will be replaced with our homemade rooibos liqueur. And for the sweet component, we are not using rich syrup, but sweet vermouth. To add a bit of bitterness, I'm going with orange bitters. Of course, the saline solution needs no introduction, if you've watched cocktail time before. As for the gear, you won't need a shaker, but an easy nitro whip, with two nitrous cartridges. So before we can make the cocktail, Let's go over how I made the two robust ingredients, the liqueur and the tea. Starting with the robust liqueur. To make it, I used robust, vodka, sugar, water, dried orange peels and hibiscus. And just to make it clear, robust makes herbal tea, since it's not related to the tea plant, so it's very low in tannins and completely caffeine free. I tried both the classic infusion and the sous vide method, and I'll show you both. But the sous vide method won by a significant margin, so into a sous vide bag I'm adding 250ml of vodka. 14 grams of rooibos, 100 grams each of water and sugar. And for a little extra flavor, 4 grams dried orange peel and 1.6 gram of hibiscus. Crushed hibiscus has more surface area. Rooibos tea comes in various flavors, so feel free to experiment here. I added oranges for sweet citrus notes and hibiscus for some acidity, floral character mainly to get a nice red color. Other flavors that also complement the robust tea quite well are vanilla, apple and chocolate. Once you've double sealed the bag, place it in the sous vide bath, set to 62 degrees Celsius or 143 degrees Fahrenheit for one and a half hour. Once that passes, we need to cool it down first, so into an ice bath it goes. Then cut it open and strain it through a coffee filter. This will yield approximately 400 milliliters of robust liqueur, with a final product containing 250 grams of sugar per liter, with an alcohol content of 25% ABV. Bottle it, add the label, and that's your robust liqueur done. If however you don't have a sous vide, you can try the traditional cold infusion method. In that case, infuse the vodka with 10 grams of rooibos separately, for about 24 hours, so the flavors have time to develop. A few hours before that passes, prepare the hot infusion of 100 grams of water, 4 grams of rooibos, 4 grams of orange peel and 1.6 gram of crushed hibiscus. Let this infuse for about 5 minutes, then strain it through a coffee filter and let it cool to room temperature. Once that happens, we can strain out our rooibos vodka infusion through the same coffee filter that we used before. The only thing that needs to be added now is the sugar. Combine our strained infusion with 100 grams of sugar, mix to dissolve and that's it. If you want this to be clearer, you can pass it through a coffee filter one more time, but we already have the sous vide version, so let's move on. For the cocktail, we'll also need some basic robust tea as well, so let's make this quick. In half a liter of boiling water, add 5 grams of robust tea, let it infuse for 6 minutes, then strain the tea and leave it to cool. Once it gets to room temperature, place it in the fridge. That's because we want everything to be as cold as possible. When making this, we're not adding ice, but only our liquid ingredients. Start with 7 oz or 210 ml of vodka. The measurements are based on the size of my siphon, which is 1 liter. But later, I'll also give a single serve amounts as well, if you want to make it in a cocktail shaker. Here we are going with 6 oz or 180 ml of our rooibos liqueur. For sweetness, but also some herbal and softly bitter notes, 4.5 oz or 135 ml of sweet vermouth. Novo de Dante also adds a nice deep red color to any cocktail. Now for the tea. 
14 ounce or 420 ml of rooibos tea. It tastes sweet, herbal and nutty, with natural honey, vanilla and caramel notes. And for the finishing touches, bitters and saline solution. 16 dashes of orange bitters and 16 drops of 20% saline solution. Then we pour everything into the Nitro Whip siphon and charge it with an easy Nitro charger. I'll follow the instructions on the website and shake this 8 times before charging with another Nitro charger for a more intense taste experience. Shake again, no instruction on how many times, so do as you will. To fully chill the cocktail, place a siphon in the fridge or an ice bath. In the meantime, I can quickly show you how to make a single serving in a cocktail shaker. Combine 1.5 oz or 45 ml of vodka, 1 1.25 oz or 37.5 ml of rooibos liqueur, 1 oz or 30 ml of sweet vermouth, and 1.5 oz or 45 ml of rooibos tea. One difference here is that this should be a stronger tea, so double the amount of rooibos for the same amount of water when brewing. Don't forget about 2 dashes of orange bitters and 2 drops of saline solution to boost all those flavors. Shake hard with ice, double strain into a chilled martini or nick in a glass. Add a cocktail cherry for garnish and that's it. Looks nice, right? Now check out how good it looks with a cascading effect from a nitro batch. If you enjoy Guinness beer, you'll know what I'm talking about. Also, this is so easy to serve, you might as well pour another one. If you're hosting a cocktail party, this is a win-win. Add a cherry to both and toast with your friends. Cheers! Rooibos replaces coffee with cherry, nutty and sweet vanilla notes. This is joined on the palate by a subtle peppery spice with orange and herbal notes. It's so good, I don't want to keep Sasha from enjoying it, so let's keep this short. This camera is on a tripod, so both Sasha and Ruby can enjoy their rooibos martinis. Here, let me show you. Cheers! Cheers, friends of puppets! For more behind the scenes content and to support the creation of Cocktail Time, check out our Patreon page where you can also join our wall of fame and claim a brick on our set, like David Bryan and Gerard Fortuna did. And now a part of our set. Thank you for your support. And speaking of support, today's bottom of the glass features a project that supports bartenders all around the world, plus an unboxing. Broken Bartender is a project co-founded by Daniel Nelski, one of the most influential bartenders in the industry. On their website, you'll find awesome cocktail themed pins stickers and even the world's tiniest shaker. Great gifts for anyone that loves cocktails. Best part is that 10% of the sales goes to the Indie Bartender Fund, supporting bartender education worldwide. Check out Daniel and the Broken Bartender in the description below. I think that's what the kids call fire. So post a fire emoji in the comments if you've made it this far. Until next time, here's more martini recipes that aren't really a martini. Cheers, friends of cocktails.